Rule six, we have the indefinite integral of the function one over x. We have some space before example one. Let's just try to apply our regular rule to this. So if you had the antiderivative of one over x, the first thing you would do is you would say we would have to rewrite this as x to the negative one dx. And then we would say if we have x to a power, the rule is to add one, put it as our new denominator and our new power. So negative one plus one would be zero. So I'd have one over zero, x is zero plus c. So why is this its own separate rule when we could just rewrite it and add one as normal? Well, the reason is we can't do that. You can't divide by zero. So this is the one power where we don't get to add one to it and divide by it and put it as our new power because it makes us divide by zero. So instead, we're going to think about what had a derivative of one over x. So what was the original function that had a derivative of one over x? Going back to our other way of thinking about how to take an antiderivative. Well, way back with derivatives, we said the derivative of the natural log of x was 1 over x. So we're going to apply that here. This is the only power where we can't add 1 to it is when our power is negative 1. So normally, I'm an autopilot. Every fraction I see, I'm rewriting as a negative exponent, and then I'm trying to add 1 to it. And the only time I don't do that is when I add 1 and I get 0 in the denominator and as my new power. Then the antiderivative is the natural log of x. So the antiderivative of 1 over x dx means with respect to x, is going to be the natural log of x plus c. And with antiderivatives, we're always going to put that ln of x in absolute values, which makes sense because of a proof in math and also because if you just try numbers in your calculator, you cannot take the natural log of a negative number anyway. You have to plug in something positive, so we're going to use absolute value symbols there. So looking at this first example, I have 2 over x. In autopilot, I would say, hey, my first step is to rewrite this. I have 2x to the negative 1, dx with means with respect to x. And then I'm going to keep the constant multiple 2, add 1, put it in the bottom, put it up top. So negative 1 plus 1 is 0. So I'd have 2 divided by 0, x to the 0. I would pause and say, hey, if I get 0, that's the only time. We do not use that rule. Instead, we say ln of x plus c. We cannot do 2 over 0, x to the 0. Cannot divide by 0, so it's not our answer. Anytime you get 0, it's really ln of x. So let's use that again with another example. This one I'm going to have to rewrite because, again, I have something in the denominator. So I have the antiderivative of 3x minus 5x to the negative 2 plus 4x to the negative 1 plus c. So then I can try to take the antiderivative of each piece. I'm going to add 1, put it in the denominator, and put it up as my new power. So 3x to the first 1 plus 1 is 2, so I'd have 3 over 2, x to the 2, minus I'd have 5 that I'm going to keep, and then negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1 in the denominator, and negative 1 is my new power. Of course, you could just write that as plus 5, since negative 5 divided by negative 1 is positive 5, but you don't have to. Plus, if I keep going, I have 4, and then I have negative 1 as my power, so negative 1 plus 1 is 0. So I'm going to switch gears. It is not 4 divided by 0, x is 0. It is 4 ln of x plus c. So you continue to add 1 and divide by that new power. Unless you get 0, then it's the ln of x. So if we do that one last time, you could stop the video and try this one first. That would be a great indication that you're ready for these. So if you can do this next one, because we would have to rewrite it, so it's a trickier one. We have x to the negative 2 minus 3x to the negative 1 plus e squared dx. So it's a more complicated function. It has multiple rules in it, so you could definitely try it on your own and then play the video. 
But for the first one, I'm gonna add one. So negative two plus one is gonna be one over negative one, x to the negative one. Next one, I'd keep the minus three, add one to the power, negative one plus one is zero. We can't do three divided by zero, or negative three divided by zero, so we're gonna write ln of x plus e squared does not have an x with it. That is just a weird looking constant. You can plug it in on your calculator to see what the number is. Antiderivative of any constant is that constant times x plus c.